Classification 1. Biology has been defined as the study of living things slash living organisms. We discussed all the characteristics shared by all living organisms. They are, nutrition, excretion, gaseous exchange, reproduction, growth and development, movement, irritability and respiration. Despite sharing all the above mentioned characteristics, living organisms in particular plants and animals also differ in so many ways. There are millions of different plant and animal types exhibiting a range of differences hence the need for a classification system. Classification is therefore the grouping of living organisms according to their structures. In classification, the organisms that share a lot of similarities are placed under one group referred to as taxon plural taxa. The scientific study of classification is known as taxonomy. A biologist studying taxonomy is known as a taxonomist. In classifying organisms taxonomists largely depend on the use of external observable features of organisms. For example, of external observable features in plants that are used in classification. A. The type of root i.e., tap root, fibrous roots, adventitious roots etc. B. Presence and absence of flowers. C. Types of leaves i.e., compound leaf parallel veined, simple leaf network veined. For example, of external observable features in animals that are used in classification. A. Body covering e.g., scales, fur, hair, or feathers. B. Mammary glands in mammals. C. Locomotory structures.